Hey guys, welcome to part 3 of the Cage Director initial setup video. So up to this point we've shown you how to properly connect the cage detubing to the doser, set up the dosing pumps, and set the fill levels for your KHD containers. In this video we'll show you how to enable the Cage Director, set up basic KHD settings, and calibrate the KHD probe. To get started we must first enable the Cage Director. In the app press the menu icon Select Control, then select KH Director. Enable the KHD, then press Save. Enable Record Measurement Values. This will store your KHD test results so they can later be viewed on a chart. Press the Control tab and type in your desired alkalinity value. Press the General tab, then go to the Pumps for Measurement section and select the dosing pumps that will be responsible for each task. For example, in part 2 of the video, we chose pump 1 for the water sample, pump 2 for the reagent, and pump 3 for the wastewater. In the time schedule section, specify how many times per day you want to do a KH test. You can have the KHD automatically test anywhere between 1 to 24 times per day. If you choose to test more than once per day, the testing intervals will be evenly split throughout the day. For example, if you wanted to test two times per day, the KHD will test every 12 hours. Here is where you can specify at what time the first test of the day will take place. For example, if you want to test two times per day and want the first test to begin at 12 a.m., the next test will begin 12 hours later at 12 p.m. So now let's set up the water sample settings. In the sample volume field, type in how many milliliters you want the KHD to use for each test. This can be anywhere between 50 milliliters and 100 milliliters. In the sample tube volume field, press the calculator icon. Here is where you tell the KHD how many milliliters the water sample tube holds. If you are using the sample tube that was included with your KHD, you can leave this field as is. 4 millimeters is the inner diameter of the packaged KHD sample tube. If you choose to use your own tube for the water sample, make sure you type in the new inner diameter of the tube here. In the length field, select your unit of measurement, then type in the total length of your water sample tube. You can get this total by measuring the three pieces which make up the water sample tube. Take the length of the tube from the sump to the pump head, the length of the tube inside the pump head, and the length of the tube from the KHD to the pump head, and add all these together. When measuring the length of the tube going into the sump, include the length of the water sample filter in your measurement. Type in the total length into the length field. You will now see the calculated volume here. If you have a water sample filter installed, select this option. Press Apply. Here's where you can choose to have the KHD trigger an alarm in case a test result goes outside of an acceptable range. If you choose to enable this feature, select if all KHD control settings should be deactivated during the alarm. Next, specify the lower and upper limits of the alarm. If any test result goes outside of these boundaries, an alarm will be activated by the KHD. With those steps completed, it's time to connect the KHD probe. Take the probe that was packaged with the KHD and connect it to the back of the KH Director's BNC port. Insert the probe connector over the port and turn the connector to lock it in place. Now let's calibrate the probe. For this process, you will need to have both pH 4 and pH 7 calibration fluids on hand. You will also need two sample cups for holding small amounts of each fluid. You can prepare these samples by pouring pH 4 fluid into one cup and pH 7 fluid into another cup. In the maintenance section, press calibrate electrode. Take the KHD probe and sit it in the sample of pH 4 fluid. Then press next. Give the probe a few minutes to complete this step. 
Take the probe out of the fluid, then rinse and wipe down the probe. This will prevent any cross-contamination between the calibration fluids and water used for rinsing. Place the probe in the pH 7 fluid, then press next. When you get to this screen, the calibration will be complete. Take the probe out of the fluid, rinse, dry, then insert the probe into the KHD probe port. When installing the probe, make sure the rubber ring from the locking nut is correctly positioned. Also make sure the locking nut is tight enough so you don't have any leaks from the probe port. If need be, use an appropriate tool to carefully tighten the screw connection. To get the highest accuracy out of your KHD, we recommend you calibrate the probe every 2-4 to four weeks. Anytime you need to service the probe either to calibrate or replace, make sure you stop automatic KHD testing by temporarily setting the measurements per day to zero. It's also important to note the KHD probe must never be allowed to dry out. If your KH director does not perform any tests for more than 3 days, we recommend removing the probe and storing it in liquid until you are ready to use it again. The KHD will always store a small amount of water inside the measuring cell to prevent the probe from drying out. With each test, this fluid is flushed out and replaced with new water. Lastly, a probe that has not been in use for more than a few weeks should always be recalibrated before being put to use. At this time, make sure all your tubes are properly positioned and connected. Make sure the water sample tube does not have any water in it. Also make sure the tube is already placed in an area where you want to pull the water sample from. The wastewater and vent tube should also be empty and positioned above the wastewater bin. We can now prepare the cage director for its first test. Press the button that says vent internal reagent tube. The reagent head will now turn on and prime the reagent tube inside the KHD. When that part is done, press the flush measurement cell button. At this time, check for any leaks around the probe compression fitting. If you see any leaks or drips, press the cancel current action button, then press empty measurement cell completely. Check your probe compression fitting and retighten it. You can also put some Vaseline around the rubber ring to create a better seal. Once that's done, retry the flush measurement cell step. Once the measurement cell is flushed, your cage director will be ready for its first test. You can trigger a manual test at any time by pressing start measurement now. Your KHD is now set up and ready to begin testing. For the last part of this video, we're going to show you how to view your test results on the dashboard. Press the menu icon, press the back arrow, and select Dashboard. Press the brush icon, followed by the plus icon. Select KH Director and Chart, then press Add. If you'd like to rearrange your information tiles, press and hold down the four-way arrow, then move the tile to where you want it. To delete a tile, press the red trash icon. To change the size of a tile, press the grid icon. Once you're satisfied with your dashboard, press the check icon to save the new dashboard. If you wish to see current notifications, press the bell icon. All your warning and alarm notifications will be posted here. Warnings will be shown in yellow and alarms will be shown in red. That wraps up the KHD initial setup video. If you have any questions about this video or any GHL product, feel free to contact us on any one of our support channels. Until next time folks, take care.